what we're after setting this gap um, we're after approximately 60 to 80 thou distance here that's about 60 to 80 thou yeah. now there's no tangs on these and the needles downwards so you have to just put a tad of pressure on there and as we see here it's too high it's got to be 60 thou below this surface and the only way we can do it is by removing the seat this seat and lifting it um, so I'll find something to screw in like that screw that in warm the case up pull it out and drop it back in or push it back in and see what we come up with right here's the needle seat just taken out I warm the ball up a bit if you spit on it and the spit sizzles that's the alloy about hot enough if you get any hot you're in danger of melting it so it's still a bit warm so I'll, I'll push this back in and we'll tap it down And then after this, it's trial and error. Oh, there it is. Right, and the same thing. You know, a little bit of pressure on the back of the floor. Oh, no. 60. Oh, a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more in. Ooh, ah, yeah, ah. That's just a little bit still. Right. Inviting tip needles, these. The best ones. Better than the solid brass ones. Same thing. Put it in. Touch pressure. And there we have it. That will uh, do, mate. Again. Does I need enough? A little bit over 60. I'm allowed 60 to 80, so that's fine. And there we have it. That's the float level set on an Amel 928 carburetor. Go and cool it off. Hopefully we can stay out there, we'll give it like it. And we just have this small gap around here. No. There you go. And that's about it.
The standard setup for a Bonneval is a standard needle. I don't know if it would say the grooves here. It's got three grooves, usually set in the middle as starters. Put it on the bottom groove, it'll be richer. If you put it on the higher groove, it'll be weaker. Here's a jet holder. Stan standard. It would be a 180 main jet. And this is the needle jet. And that's a 106. There's always, there's numbers stamped on them. That's a 106. Now because I've got nearly straight throughs on and I've just fitted my bell mouths. I'm going up to uh, 200 main jets. So I'm putting a set of 200s in. And also there's a little tiny hole in here. Now, you can drill that bigger, and if you drill that bigger, it makes it weaker when the slides lower down with the needle. Obviously, these go together, like I said, and then that goes up and down in there, like that. The further it comes out, the richer it becomes, yeah, like that. When it's flat out, it doesn't rely on any of these, it just relies on the size of the main jet. But through the rest of the range, it's the needle jet. Now, if it's weak... Well, oh, hang on, haha. <laughs> if it's weak, you make it all smaller, so you'd have to solder that up, or you'd have to get rid of it. Um, if it's rich, you can drill that hole slightly bigger. What I've done on man. I've, I've sharpened, I've got these things, I've sharpened that up and I've actually poked that in and made that all very slightly bigger and it's just a case of poke them around, go for a spin, do a couple of plug chops, come back, do it again. I wish I had a dyno, it'd save a lot of hassle. But there you go. That's the standard setup of a, a Bonneville carburetor. So I've done the float level. I've done the float level now. Here's it. Yeah, it is. Float level. Can we see from here? Just a little bit of pressure on the back, and it should be just a gap at the front. A small gap here. 60 to 80 thou from that surface there. Turn the pressure on the float. There you go. Nope. There you go. Right, I'm going to put them back together and see what that does.